And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your Red Bull can do for you. Ask what you can do for your Red Bull. Homemade comp chowder, amazing. Homemade bread, amazing too. Homemade clam chowder in the homemade bread, ridiculous. And we're making both of them from scratch. Today will end one of two ways, either with incredible glory and huge success, or with me and Max in a fist fight. Why, you ask? Well, I suggested New England clam chowder in a bread bowl. Everybody loves that. Max said, great idea. Why don't you make your own bread bowl? Have I ever said that I'm a baker? But I can accept the challenge, because I know it's either going to end well or I get to punch him. <laughs> and he has to take it because he's the minor child here in this relationship. We're starting with the bread because it's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's going to be okay. I hope it's okay. <sighs> but I have a backup just in case. Just in case everything goes really shitty, I got us covered. What I'm about to do, I'm going to do in a mixer. You can do in a bowl and by hand. If you don't have a mixer, it's a great present. Uh, look in the description. Look in our gift guide for one. Who wouldn't want to get one of these things? But buy a good one. Don't buy a cheap ass one because it's about power and stability. And I've had this one about 12 years and haven't ever thought that it wasn't going to live forever. Okay? Okay? How do you think today's going to end? Super well. Super well, he says. One packet of fast-acting yeast. Uh-oh. I better get my thing. I don't need it yet, but one packet of fast-acting yeast in the uh, mixer bowl. To that, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil, half a tablespoon of white sugar, one and a quarter cups of warm water. Not too hot. If it's too hot, it will kill the yeast. We're just going to mix this with my left hand, because Max is annoyingly over my right shoulder. Now we're gonna add two cups of bread flour. One and two. We'll give this a little mix. We'll put on our dough hook. And then medium low speed. We'll start it mixing, and while it's mixing, we're going to add a cup and a half of regular all-purpose flour, kind of slowly. So this is a half cup measure. We'll do three of these. And by the way, I, I had to call for advice on how the hell to do this to the old country last night. I got some wisdom. There's one tricky part coming up, but we'll get to it. So that's two. I need one more. Throwing at this point about a half a teaspoon of salt. Uh-oh, lock it. And now we just let it do its thing for about five minutes until it becomes smooth. <coughs> and when it's nice and smooth, turn it off, lift it up, take it off the hook. Oh. And here's what you've got. We want to make it into a nice, lovely ball. So I'm just pulling the edges down, bringing them to the bottom. And that's what you got. You got this nice, beautiful little ball of dough. So I'm going to take this guy, put it in here in an oiled bowl, lightly oiled. I'm going to cover it with this lightly dampened towel and go put it in a warm place for 40 minutes or until it doubles in size. Air bubble. So now we get to punch it down. Not violently, but watch. Come here, Max. I'll put my fingers in here, and it will deflate a little bit. Just like that. Now out it comes. I'm going to put a tiny bit of flour on my surface. Not much. Take this guy out. Now look what we have. Now we have a beautifully risen, gorgeous piece of bread dough that I want to make into three even sized pieces. So I try and get it into as even a tube as I can. So how does that look, Max? OK. 
birthday except on this side. Keep watching. Ah, oh, apparently there's the ass. <laughs> Sick. Okay, so we'll cut these guys into even threes. Roughly. One. Two. Three. Now here's what we do. Here's the hard part. Remember what I did before when I sort of took the edges and brought them around to the bottom. I want to do that now, but I want to do it a whole bunch of times. I want to get this into as taut a little ball as possible. Because the tighter it is, the greater chance you have of it rising this way as opposed to just spreading out in the oven when it's cooking. So just keep going. Just turn and pull, turn and pull. And this is what was described to me last night on the phone as the really important part in all this. So I really want to do a good job. I want these to be beautiful. I want them to rise. Probably somebody is watching from home right now going, what a piece of shit. That guy doesn't know what the F he's doing. And to you I say, sir, you're 50 years old in your underpants in your mother's basement. Maybe it's time to grow up a little bit and get out of the house. So we do this, we roll. We'll take this guy, put on a lightly oiled baking sheet, just like that. Continue with the other two. And when you're done, I'm gonna put these guys on here. Okay. One more thing, put a little X across the top. You have to give it some place to expand. If you don't do this, the chances of it cracking are really good. And I just did all that while I was moving the pan and that probably pissed Max off. Max likes it when there's silence and I talk. He doesn't like this. And it's important that you take and make marks on the top when you're doing this because it needs some place to expand, right? If I could be guaranteed that it would stay this tall and just get bigger, I'd be happy. But, but we'll see. We cover them up again with that wet towel we've been using. They go back into a relatively warm place. And what does that mean? Like if your oven was on in your kitchen, you put it up on the counter, that would be perfect. By a drafty door, that's not so good. Uh, I had my fireplace on, and I put it on a table near that. Not hot, but you don't want it drafty and you don't want it cold. It likes to rise when it's like got a little coziness to it. All right, so let me do that and we'll come back and we'll start making the, um, the I forgot, the clam chowder. Ah. All right, our starting point with the clam chowder will be to saute some onions and celery. It's pretty common. So I could just put some oil in the pot, start cooking these, and then go from there. But one of the things we're going to use on top when we're serving is little bits of crispy bacon. And those have to be cooked. So the smart move, the better move, the move I want you to do always is take the bacon, put it in the pot first, get it crispy wherever you want it, take it out. Then the onions and celery will cook in that, thereby delivering much more flavor to the cooking onions and celery than oil would by itself. Comprende? Come on, Max, come on, let's look at some bacon cooking, please. So, break it up. This was a big hunk of frozen bacon in my freezer about an hour ago. It's a great thing to do. You got a little leftover piece, throw it in there, and then just cut it and put it in. You can put it in a pot, still a little frozen and the heat will make it be fine. No worry about waiting for it to defrost. And when the bacon looks like this, or however you like it, this is how I like it. I like it part crispy and part still a little fatty because that's flavor. Let's take it out, put on some paper towels. I have a little more grease than I need, so that's too much. So I'm going to take some out. Trying not to burn the F out of myself. And great, great, great. A quick wipe. Back it goes. And now the onions and celery can go in. Ah, piss. And we mix. 
left-handed, sorry. Right-handed now. Gonna let those soften for a couple minutes. And while they're softening, we're gonna cut some potato. Those are potatoes. This is my giant ass Chris Crisimini knife. And I will peel them like this. And now we cut them. And this is the important part, like I always say. It doesn't matter what size they are, it only matters that they're the same size. So we'll sort of go like this into planks first. This, and then like this. Right? I always say, just think about the size of the bites. You don't want to give somebody a giant ass piece of potato, right? Or maybe you do, and if you do, then, then you're a dick. So don't be a dick. And when the potatoes are cut, in they go with the onions and celery. So in we go. Oh, of course. Drop the sh dude, drop it. Now we add the following. We're gonna add eight ounce bottle of clam juice. And I could hear somebody at home going, ooh, gross, clam juice. But guess what? It's fucking clam chowder. So you should be okay with that. And now we're gonna add the juice from a can of whole clams and two cans of minced clams. You could do all whole if you want. You could do all minced. I do like a combination of the two. And it's my channel, so if it doesn't work for you, suck it. That's a t-shirt. If it doesn't work for you, suck it. Nice. Let's see if I can do this together. Oops. Oh boy. Almost. A little bit of this guy trying to sneak out. Get back in there. Okay, we're good. A little mix. Now we wait and bring this to a boil. While we wait for this to come to a boil, Max, you know what we get to do? We get to get our bread. It's time for the bread bowls, hopefully, to go in the oven. I wipe this down, do that thing on the screen with that noise you make, that and then I'll have the bread bowls here, and we'll unveil them. And after 30 minutes, here's what we have. Are you ready, Max? Ready. Ta-da! Hey, I'm actually okay with this. They've set up nicely. I mean, they've stayed up. You know, like a woman's breasts. I'm they tend to In this case, this will not go in, by the way. Oh, it will go I, in. No, it can't. It's this going will, No, in. this will do me right out of the fucking it's channel. Going in. No, don't. I don't think you should. Okay. Last thing we do before they go in the oven, which, by the way, is at 400. This is an egg white beaten with a tablespoon of water. So we'll just brush. This will help give just a, a tiny bit of sheen to it. God, I feel myself turning into a baker. No, I don't want to be that guy. I don't know how to do this. I don't have the temperament to be a baker. You got this out of me, Max. Don't be asking for fucking profiteroles and, and we're making fucking profiteroles. Shit like that. Nice. Okay. Into a 400 degree oven for about 25, 30 minutes until golden brown. And we'll be back. The only other thing you need to know is I have a pan on the top shelf of the oven. As the bread goes in, I'll add a cup of water to the pan. It will create steam and hopefully help these guys stay up. Like a <laughs> That oh will not go in. Now that we're boiling, we're gonna add two things. One is about a half a teaspoon of celery seed, lovingly. The other is about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Sweet. I'm gonna mix. Now we're going to turn it down a bit and leave it for about 15 minutes or so until the potatoes soften. Then we come back. Okay, uh, potatoes are tender. We had two things. I just checked on my bread. Oh my God. I have a future as a baker, I think. I will get there, but I could if I wanted. Come, Max, come. So this is really nice. And it's about to get way nicer. Because in go the clams, first the whole ones. If that crow doesn't shut up, it's gonna be in this pot in about a, two seconds. The minced.
couple shakes of Old Bay. Jilly requested that. And now a pint of cream. Heavy cream. Whipping cream. We'll turn the heat up just a little bit. And all we need to do now is stir it and wait till it thickens. And oh boy. This is going to be spectacular. Oh shit, I forgot salt and pepper. Sorry, you know everything gets salt and pepper. Hey! <laughs> that aggressive little guy. Is he fucking kidding? Go get Astro. Okay, I've got like five minutes on the bread. Well, I have them covered up for a reason. You want to know what that reason is? There's oh two God, reasons. Is it bad? There's two reasons. One is it's bad, one is it's good. Motherfucker. It's fucking great. And by the way, these were not bought. I mean, come on. Here's my backup. So it's not quite my backup, which has got, I don't know, grainy or something. But it was also, I can do this now. And do you want to know, would you like proof that these weren't purchased? Yes. Here. Ah. <laughs> Look, oh, this yeah. hot. It's hot. Wow. They're gorgeous, man. Which one do we want? Should I do this one? Take this off. I probably should let it cool. That's a stupid comment. I know I should let it cool. And the only <laughs> knife I could find that was appropriate for this is, you ready for it? It's the Guy Fieri knuckle sandwich knife. Oh my God. It was a gift. I didn't buy it, for God's sakes. So I think you'd do the same thing with a bread bowl that you do with a pumpkin. You want to carve at an angle? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to try this. Here we go. The problem is, Hold on. See, I really should have let this wait, but I think I can deal. Okay, here you go. Ready, Max? You want to see steam? You know, the ass wipes that don't believe me. This shit thrown in their face. And by ass wipes, I don't mean most of you. 99.9% .9 of you are wonderful, lovely people. If I met you, I'm sure we would be friends. But the ass wipes know who they are. There's people right now going, guy's right, I'm a fucking ass wipe. Let's get some steam, shall we? Did you get it? So now you need to scoop out the innards, right? Look, trust me, you do want to let these things Cool. That was, that was fun. Wow. You don't see that? Damn, it smells good. Well, okay, that's proof. It wouldn't be the kind of smell if it... Okay, clear out your bread bowl so it looks like this inside. Now, come on, now let's put some soup in. Come on. And come in. Beautiful potatoes. Nice. The clams. Oh. And of course, it'll work with anything, but really, how spectacular is this? So I like a lot of stuff and then the broth. Oh, man. Or as we said the other day, mama f***ing Mia. No toppings, come. So here's what I like. I like some Cholula, so I think it's fantastic. I like fresh ground pepper. Remember that bacon we cooked earlier? I want a shit ton of that. And of course, a little parsley on top. Jeez Louise. That is what today is all about. This is a happy day. Do you want his hat? No hat. No, you don't want a hat. Little Vanna White turn. And so, my fellow Americans, Ask not what your bread, bread bowl can do for you. Ask what you can do for your bread bowl. Look at the steam. Made a wet path. Here we go. The potato. Nice broth. This is going to be a good bite. Mm. Check it. Check it before you wreck it.
place to put it. Oh. Mm. Mm. The spice from the Cholula is right there. The clams are delicious. The potatoes, soft. There's that little old bay in here that you get. Getting a little bite of onion. Then you take what you pulled out and dip. Come up with some clam, some parsley. Fresh baked bread. No. Fresh baked bread bowl that you made. Well, for now I made this, but if you make it, you will have the pride of saying you made it. This is a great shitty weather weekend afternoon thing to do. It takes a little bit. There's a 40 minute rising, then a 30 minute rising, then a 30 minute cooking in the oven, and then you have to put it together in the beginning. And then you gotta make those tight little uh, 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 balls of dough. But every fucking second was worth it. I'm forgetting, there's celery here. Hello, celery, I forgot about you. This is what you want this time of year. <clears throat> this is what you want any time of year, but especially now. As we're getting very close to the holidays, and getting very close to giving away our seven amazing things, if you haven't watched that video, our biggest giveaway ever, go check it out. You could have an Evo. You could have a Traeger uh, pellet smoker. You could have a Caliber Pro Kamado grill smoker. You could have a, a private brunch by me at Not Not Tacos. You could have almost $1,000 worth of Kamakoto Japanese knives, the full set. You could have a year's worth of Chosen Foods products. The mayos, the dressings, the sprays, the this, the that. You could have a year's worth of bad pickle teas. You know those t-shirts I wear all the time. What do, you ha what do they have to do, Max? Johnny, tell them what they have to do. Say the words. The, all the, the info's, hold on, I'm sorry, sorry. He forgot. All you have to do is go to the video, that particular video. Like it, that's all you have to do. Make a comment. Do they have to make a comment? I yes. can't remember if we said that. You have so to make a comment. Make yes, a comment? we need to know who you are. Make a comment. Do you make a comment? You type a comment. You write a comment. You write a comment. We had friends in Toronto, they would, when they went grocery shopping, they would say they have to go make an order. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie and Lauren, they're divorced now. Probably because that stupid expression they used. <laughs> he probably woke up one day and said, what are we doing? <laughs> Making an order? Who are we? Who have we become, Debbie? Okay, I gotta eat this. It's so good. I will never bullshit you, ever. Sometimes I'll watch the videos after we've shot them and they're online, and it's like a 20 minute video. And at like 10 minutes, I'm wrapping up, I'm eating, and I'm like, why is there still 10 minutes left? Because of this bullshit. Because of just this nonstop talking that I just can't s help myself with. This will be my final bite. Thank you. Oh, by the way, <laughs> go get some Cooking Guy merchandise. There's a ton of it there. Remember, if fat means flavor, <laughs> you and me are fucking delicious. And it's on sale. Just use the promo code FMAX. F-M-A-X. See ya.